Hello everyone and welcome back to MetaMind, where we make it easy for you to understand your medicine. Today we will talk about Ozempic, generic name semaglutide. We will discuss how it works, side effects you should know about, including a pretty scary one that's been circulating lately and how much weight you could lose while taking it. Ozempic is a pretty new drug which was approved by the FDA in 2017 for the management of type 2 diabetes. During clinical trials, Ozempic not only reduced patients' blood sugar levels significantly, but it also demonstrated some protective effects for both the heart and the kidneys. This made it a great addition in our fight against heart disease and made its way into clinical guidelines for the treatment of diabetes. Another interesting fact emerged during the trials, they started to notice that patients on Ozempic were losing massive amounts of weight, and this was considered a side effect of the medication. However, most saw it as a positive side effect, and that's when the Ozempic craze hit the world. So how does it work to lower weight? Ozempic aids weight loss by targeting various aspects of your body's metabolism and appetite. When you take Ozempic, it activates receptors in your body that help regulate blood sugar levels. This activation leads to increased insulin secretion, which helps control your blood sugar. Additionally, Ozempic slows down the rate at which your stomach empties, making you feel fuller for longer periods. This effect reduces your overall food intake and calorie consumption. Furthermore, Ozempic may also increase the amount of energy your body uses, potentially helping you burn more calories. Another important aspect is Ozempic's ability to suppress appetite by interacting with receptors in the brain that control hunger and satiety. This can lead to reduced feelings of hunger and a decreased desire to eat, which further supports weight loss efforts. Now, while this is all great, there is an issue. Ozempic is not approved by the FDA for weight loss management. The company that created Ozempic did notice its effects on weight loss and decided to make a sister drug Wegovy, which works exactly like Ozempic, but with a higher dose. The issue that's occurring today is that there is a shortage of both medications. Due to its popular demand, the company just can't keep up. To combat the shortage, many clinicians are prescribing Ozempic off-label instead, off-label referring to the use of a medication for a condition other than that which it has been approved for, in this case, weight loss. This had led to a shortage of Ozempic, and many patients who rely on it for their diabetes treatment are not able to get it. The Therapeutic Goods Administration has recently made a few announcements. They're recommending that new patients should not be started on Ozempic unless there are no other suitable options or a compelling clinical reason to do so. For patients already on Ozempic, prescribers should consider if they can be switched to an alternative medication following the appropriate guidelines as a continuous supply cannot be guaranteed, and that it's crucial to conserve supplies for patients who are already stabilized on Ozempic and have no other treatment options. Unfortunately, the Therapeutic Goods Administration has stated that it's uncertain when Ozempic will be available in sufficient quantities to meet the ongoing high demand. So how much weight loss can you expect from either agent? Well, studies show patients can lose up to 16 pounds in a year, but in my experience I have seen patients lose up to 100 pounds in practice. This offers an amazing improvement in overall health, especially knowing the risks that come with obesity. If you are currently on Ozempic, you have probably heard that recently the FDA has been looking into reports of suicidal thoughts or actions in patients using medications like Ozempic. So far, there is no clear evidence that these medications directly cause suicidal thoughts or actions. However, the FDA is continuing to investigate this issue. It's important for patients to not stop taking their Ozempic without talking to their healthcare provider first. Your healthcare provider should monitor you for signs of new or worsening depression, suicidal thoughts, or any unusual changes in mood or behavior, and you should report any such changes to your healthcare provider. Let's switch gears and discuss some important things you need to know about Ozempic use. First, it's crucial that you never share your pen with anyone else as it's meant for your use only. Sharing needles or reusing them can lead to several scary infections. When you inject, always change the needle each time to prevent irritation and ensure the injection site is clean. You can use your abdomen, thigh, or upper arm for the injection, but rotate the site each time to avoid irritation. When injecting in your thigh, aim for the outer side of your upper thigh and avoid injecting into the inner thigh. If you're using your upper arm, aim for the fleshy outer surface about 3 inches below your shoulder and 3 inches above your elbow. 
If injecting into your abdomen, make sure to avoid your belly button and inject at least two inches away from it. Also avoid injecting your waistline. And remember to always rotate your injection site, meaning don't inject in the same place twice in a row. Begin with the prescribed dose, which might be 0.25 mg once a week, and adjust as your doctor recommends. If you forget a dose, take it as soon as you remember, unless it's almost time for your next dose. Now let's discuss some side effects. Some common ones include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or constipation. These typically improve over time, but if they're severe or persistent, it's important to let your healthcare provider know. Remember, this medication is most effective when combined with a healthy diet and regular exercise. One last point I wanted to mention was that it's important to note that Ozempic should not be abused. When a few pounds of weight loss are needed, nothing beats a healthy diet and regular exercise. Ozempic should be used as part of a comprehensive weight loss plan under the guidance of a healthcare provider. Remember, understanding your medication is the first step to taking control of your health. If you found this video informative, please consider subscribing to our channel for more updates on medications and health topics. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you for watching and remember your health is your greatest wealth. Stay safe and take care.